Hello friends, and you're back on the Jelly Battle channel, on the Science Experiments show, and today we will make another cool experiment, so let's go! You all know very well that if you throw the ball up, it will surely fall back, see? And if you jump, I will definitely land on the ground. But if I throw the ball on the moon, I will never ever see it again. Bye. And all because the moon, like it's an Earth satellite, and on moon, gravity is six times less than on Earth. Well, in simple words, gravity is the force by which a planet or another body attracts object to its center. And thanks to that, we do not fly away into the space, but we are always attracted and stay firmly on Earth. Now, I'm gonna show you something interesting. Well, of course, if I just take the tip and just lower it, nothing happens. And the beads will come out or will fall down according to the laws of gravity. But look at this. The beads raise above the edge of the cup and form a fountain before falling. How beads overcome the law of gravity? Scientists are still arguing why this happens. Many agree that the beads behave this way due to inertia and because uh, they uh, form a chain and is not isolated from each other, but behave like short bars, consisting of several bits. Now I'm just put the glass on the table and just take the bits out or just closer to the table. They're not, stop, <laughs> they're not gonna fall upon the form a fountain as you've seen before. They just, come on, come on. Yeah, exactly, they just fall out. By the way, this unusual phenomenon was first noticed by science magician Steve Mould who performed entertaining science experiments on BBC TV programs. Well, we have even more cool experiments on our channel. Subscribe and share. And can you guess the length of our chain? See you next time, young magicians.